Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. Um, I am bringing you a grocery slash Christmas decor slash Christmas shopping haul from uh, North Dakota. Um, I live in Manitoba, Canada, um, but this past weekend, December 2nd to 4th, well, it's supposed to be December 2nd to 4th, but we end up staying till the 5th because we had car troubles and that was a whole nother nightmare story in itself. But we went down for some Christmas shopping. Uh, my family went down and we also took one of my co-workers, one of my young adult co-workers that works with my daughter and I at the grocery store we work at and who is one of my adopted kids as I call them. So he came down with us too. What I'm going to show you came from a number of stores, Walmart, uh, TJ Maxx, Hornbuckers, and there's some other things I'll show you afterwards once I get this counter cleaned off. These are just my purchases. My daughter also purchased some things as well. So here, I'm gonna show you what I got. The reason I got this many coffee trimmers is not because we're that much of a coffee drinker in this house. In fact, I'm the only one, but I bought one of each of these four for myself. And the other four in the back here are for a coworker of mine. They're duplicates of what I got and she'll reimburse me. And then the one at the back is also a duplicate and it is meant to be for my daughter's supervisor. We both work at the same grocery store. So we got Almond Joy. Uh, it's a chocolate coconut and almond, and then we got amaretto, a white chocolate mocha, and a Hershey's chocolate caramel. Those came from Walmart, and then this little guy, apparently I'm on a gnome kick these days. I haven't been before, but apparently I am now. We whisk you a Merry Christmas. It's a paper towel holder. I mean, we do have a paper towel holder hanging up there, but I thought for the Christmas season, I'll find room on the counter for this little guy and use him instead. I just thought he was really, really cute. And then, and that was a TJ Maxx purchase. And then at one point we stopped at Chick-fil-A for lunch. That is a restaurant or a fast food chain we do not have here in Canada. So when we're in the States, we usually go there at least once. And this was $6.99. This was their holiday cow. So I just had to have him. And I named him Mikey. <laughs> a long story, but I named him Mikey after the guy at the uh, Enterprise Rent-A-Car place in the States who tried his best to help us. Excuse all my noisy birds in the background. They are rather vocal today. These are some drinks with some soft drinks we don't have here at home. I bought some sun-kissed orange. Just one minute. I'm going to try and calm these birds a minute. A little bit. Okay, the birds are still going strong, but that mutes them a little bit anyway. So we got the sun-kissed orange pop and the Sprite. Zero Sugar Winter Spice Cranberry. That I only found at Hornbacher's. I did not see that in Walmart. And then we also have the Sunkissed Orange Zero, or Sun Orange Zero Sugar. And then back here we have Pepsi Mango. And then I also got some Little Debbie's. We just heard, just got the news recently that Little Debbie's is being discontinued here in Canada. So I decided to grab some while we're in the States. So I've got the Christmas tree shaped brownies and some cherry cordials. Three bottles of Excedra Migraine. I've already taken mine out of the box. These two are going to be for another co-worker of mine. She'll reimburse me. So one for me, two for her. These are the 200 count. Got these all at Walmart. And then I also bought some Walmart brand All Day Back and Muscle Pain Relief. Try that. And then Advil Migraine. Again, we don't have Excedra Migraine or Advil Migraine at home. We do have various types of back pain type pills here, but I haven't seen this particular one, even though it's a Walmart brand and we do have Walmart here. And then these cold pills, I just bought these just because my daughter seemed to be struggling with a bit of a head cold down there and we needed some, so we grabbed those. This was from, this little guy here is from Menards. Um, oh, we also bought some hanging lights for the window for Christmas lights. I'll show you those in, an, in another segment separately. But those are those are also um, going to be in the video. I'll attach a separate clip later on. That's the only thing I bought at Menards other than those window lights, but I'll show you those after. I got kind of carried away on these Cherry Cordial Christmas Kisses. I bought four, ba four bags of them. I like the sounds of them, and some of them are going to be for myself or for us. But as, as you know, I volunteer at a shelter, like at a mission downtown. And there is about 20 or so guys that are recovering addicts that are living there in the addictions recovery program. And I'm working on Christmas gift bags for all those guys. And so I thought, well, I will add some, some of these Hershey Kisses because it's a different flavor we don't have here at home to their gift bags. Same thing for this. These are Russell Stover chocolate caramel ornaments. Six in a package. or so I think there's 19 or 20 guys. So this is 24 ornaments, 24 chocolate ornaments. I bought four, four packages and whatever's left we'll just sample and have for ourselves to enjoy. And then some different flavors of Pop-Tarts we don't have at home. We have, there was Snickerdoodle and Eggo Waffle flavored Pop-Tarts. We don't have those here. In the States, there's often different flavored Oreos we don't have here. So there, I got some chocolate hazelnut, 
snickerdoodle and chocolate peanut butter pie. Don't normally see those here at home. And different flavor pancake mixes. So I got Lucky Charms, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Captain Crunch's Berry Tastic, and Dunkaroos. We, as I said, we don't have all these different varieties of pancake mixes at home. So just something neat, something different to try. And the Hershey's Chocolate Santas, these are also going to, some of them, depending how many there are, some of them will go in the, uh, in those gift bags I'm doing for the guys at the mission along with the, the cherry kisses and those chocolate ornaments. And then this caught my eye in Walmart. And like I said, I somehow unexpectedly found myself on a gnome kick this year. This little guy lights up. I don't, you can't really see it as well right now because it's the middle of the day, but you can kind of see that he's lighting up. It's kind of like those vintage ceramic Christmas trees from the 1970s or so that some of us were or that are all of that age group would remember. Um, this little guy is holding basically a ceramic Christmas tree that lights up just like those actual ceramic trees from the 70s. So it's really, really cute. Maybe I'll try and get a picture or a little video clip of him this evening after work um, when it's darker in here to show you what he looks like all lit up. And then also for the gift bags, two bags of these Rolo chocolates. We do have Rolo chocolates here in Canada, but we don't have these individually wrapped ones. And then some license, some Rudolph Red Nose Reindeer. Also chocolates, uh, like uh, individually wrapped chocolate pieces, but you can see like the wrappers have pictures and scenes from the Rudolph the Rain Red Nosed Reindeer show. And then I don't know exactly why I bought these. These are marshmallows. These ones have our llamas and cactus, and these ones are Lucky Charms. Uh, when we were down in the States in the fall, I bought some pumpkin spice flavored marshmallows to use in Rice Krispie Squares, and they were quite good. And I'm thinking, okay, yeah, if I use these in Rice Krispie Squares, sure, these might taste interesting, but you're not going to be able to see that they're llamas and cactus because they're going to be all melted. So I don't know if I'll use them for that or just simply eat them or whatever. But it, it, nonetheless, it was something unique we don't have here. We usually just have our standard white colored marshmallows or maybe our fruit or like fruit flavored colored mini marshmallows, but there's no real shape to them. So to have something kind of unique is just sort of different. So I thought I'd buy a bag of each of those. And then we got two bags of cheese that puffed. These ones are double cheese and these ones are white cheddar. I really like those. And then these are going in a Christmas stocking. Uh, these Reese's Holiday Lights. We got a Reese's lover in the family. And then this was also a TJ Maxx purchase. This Snuggle Up Nomies. I really like that little sign. I don't know exactly where I'll put it out yet, but I thought it was really cute. And then this, these came from Petco. These are for our bigger birds. Um, as you can see, we've already broken up into this for Ruby, our African Grey. I gave her a couple of these treats. And then these uh, tropical fruit nutriberries. They are mango, papaya, and pineapple. Again, that's not a main staple of their diet, but it is a treat they can have. And these ones are, what does it say on here? This one is a premium blend of pistachios, apples, apricots, and almonds. So that's what I have so far here. I do have... Something I bought at, at JCPenney, a nice kind of Christmas dress and a night shirt that I also bought in Walmart that has gnomes on it. I'll have to show that to you separately because right now i got to get my counter cleared off and get ready for work. But And then, of course, I have those Christmas window lights I need to show you as well. So I'll tack on some extra clips showing you the rest of what I got, including a couple of Christmas gifts from TJ Maxx as well in a separate clip. So that's it for right now. And I will tack those other clips on right after this. So there are the four kinds of pop that I brought home right here because I know I had them kind of stacked in front of each other so you may not have seen them all clearly in that first clip but those are the ones I brought home. The sun-kissed orange and the sun-kissed orange zero sugar and a Pepsi mango and a zero sugar winter spiced cranberry. Here let me show you. I'm not sure quite how well you'll, you can see this but that's how my little gnome looks with his little ceramic Christmas tree lit up. Thought it was kind of cute. And here are a few other quick items that we picked up at Menards. Some Christmas window lights. Haven't put them up yet, but these are the ones we got. We got a North Pole sign, a lighted nativity, a poinsettia, and a cardinal. Some of the other ones we have are several years old and are starting to burn out, and we can't seem to find these at home quite as frequently in our Walmarts or Department stores here, but I found we found these in Menards when on our trip. And this is what I picked up at J.C. Penney in Fargo. A nice, lovely dress. I like the uh, sleeves on these. I like the pattern. I think I might wear this Christmas Eve to church. 
when I sang in this service. It's on sale too. I forget exactly how much it was, but it was actually on clearance. And there's lace trim on the bottom. And there's even a lace, like, nice lace tie at the waist. They have it on the hanger like this where it's tied at the front, but you could probably quite easily just loop it around and tie it at the back too, instead of if you want the bow back there. But that is the dress I picked up at JCPenney. I probably won't tie it that snug because I do carry some extra weight in my midsection, so I'll probably tie it but not quite as snug as that. I don't want to draw that much attention to my midsection, but uh, it's a lovely dress and it was on sale. I forget how much it actually was. It was uh, 79 US regular, but I believe it was like 30 or 40% off of that or something. I'd have to look at the receipt and find out, but it was... Uh, a good deal. I mean, even with the exchange, it wasn't maybe the greatest deal because our dollar isn't worth that much in the U.S., but it was still uh, not a bad price considering that it was actually a clearance item. I think it'll be a very nice dress for Christmas and probably to wear for other occasions too. And then another thing I picked up was also this gnome pajama set. These are ladies' pajamas. I picked these up. And I like these because they're kind of cute. It has it says gnome for the holidays on them. So I got that set. That's another thing I picked up. And that was, I believe, in Walmart in Fargo. And here we have a gnome nightshirt that I picked up for myself in Walmart in Fargo. I thought it was really cute. And one of the things I liked about it is it has pockets. Kind of a neat idea. A lot of ladies will be like, oh, this dress has pockets, or this wedding dress has pockets, or what have you. And I would just fascinated by the fact that this nightshirt had pockets. So I thought it was kind of cute little gnome pattern. It says, love, don't mind the high-pitched squeal in the background. That's not our smoke detector. That is Ruby, my African gray parrot, going off. She can see me, and I'm not paying attention to her, so she's having a little bit of a fit. Anyway, this was something else I picked up on a North Dakota trip, a nightshirt with gnomes on it, or with a gnome on it that says, love, with pockets. And last but not least, these items here are going to be Christmas presents. One is a pair of uh, peanuts pajama pants, sleep pants, and the other one is a three-piece pajama pant or pajama set that is also peanuts. You can see it is sleep shirt, pants, and socks. That is the pattern. All the different characters. And this one is a little more Christmassy or winter pattern. But the top on this one is more the traditional Charlie Brown pattern of shirt that he would normally wear. Or actually, those are the socks, I believe. The shirt is this here, which has the Peanuts gang on there. So that is it. That is the extent of what we picked up on our North Dakota trip, or at least my purchases anyway. My daughter also picked up some stuff too, but her purchases are long, long since put away. Um, we were away December 2nd to 5th, and so it is now December 12th, I believe. We've been home for a week already, but life has just been crazy busy trying to get back into work and working both jobs and trying to get ready for Christmas. So I'm finally getting around to posting this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment or two down below and subscribe if you're new. And after this little clip here, I'm going to tag on a couple of video clips of us in the car on the way to the border. Hope you guys enjoy and hope you guys will tune back in for the next video. Um, I will be hopefully doing a grocery haul video later this week sometime. Have a great week, everybody. Hope you're enjoying the Christmas season. We are on a road trip. We are going, what's it, Friday, December 2nd. We are on a road trip. We're heading to Fargo via Grand Forks. And we have kidnapped this Me. guy. I've <laughs> His... been kidnapped. What <laughs> no. am I supposed to do? I'm stuck here. Only his second trip into the United States. Both times have been with us. This time for three days. Wow. Yeah, he's... He doesn't look to be too unhappy about being oh, taken oh, along. Oh, no, I'm very happy. Oh, <laughs> that's good. I'm glad you're not very, unhappy very about happy. it. So, yes, we are on our way to the States. Again, this Bye. time for the whole weekend. Oops. Rachel, we're at the border. Now what are we going to do? Are we gonna, <laughs> we're going across the border a minute. Rachie. We are. We're so we close. are. Oh, passport time again. Passport time. Oh, yeah. We got them all out again. Rachel's got control of all the passports back there. Well, except for Hazel's. things will happen. I hope so. It's supposed to be. <laughs> Rachel. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not sure what that sinister laugh was all about. That was weird. I had a visual of him in his pajama pants. You're visualizing on his pajama pants. Okay, time to end the video.